Hi guys, Putin here from BIA World of Warships with a patch update video from you. And you may be thinking, usually you do these from the portal. Well, just so you know, when you go, when you when you log in, uh, I don't have the gaming center. I have individual porters, uh, portals because I have so many clients. Uh, you know, there's the whole patch notes, but there is another way to access this. You can go to your profile down to news and update 0.7.8 the whole article the same thing you would see in the portal which would bring bring you to their website it's all the same but it's also in the game now I think Wargaming does an excellent job with the uh, their videos but I think they did leave out some stuff that people may or may not be interested in the other thing is I actually love this update for several reasons and we will get into that. As we are all aware, this is the birthday event for Wargaming. Uh, they turn, not Wargaming, for World of Warships. So they are doing an anniversary collection. You will get these special little tokens which can be used in the arsenal to purchase stuff. You will not be able to get these tokens until the 24th. You will find these tokens in containers dedicated to the World of Warships anniversary. These will be available when completing daily combat missions accessible between the 24th of August to September 19th. When this event does end, they are going to remove the tokens and they will be exchanged for one token for 50,000 credits. The other thing is the Go Navy event uh, has completed and those, if you had any tokens, they have also been exchanged. Now, what do you get with these tokens? Well, instead of reading about it, because we are in port all we have to do is go to the arsenal and click on the anniversary permanent camouflage from the bottom of the ocean for the z23 a permanent camouflage for the edinburgh borough or uh, the arctic camouflage which is pretty much the ice this is just a damaged one world of warships anniversary camouflage uh is, what's this one Blah. I can't even remember what ship this is, but... Oh. For five other tokens, you get one. For 50 tokens, you can get 10. And this is probably the most important thing about this entire patch that I'm absolutely in love with. Dasha Captains. Ugh, I've been asking for this for a long time. Finally got Dasha Captains for... All of the all of the nations. We will get into that later. We also have the space uh, captains. We have the special uh, new economic flags, and we have new patches, which all can be exchanged for these anniversary tokens. This is all the stuff you can get from the anniversary uh, stuff while it is in the arsenal. But back to the Hitch news. Boom, boom, boom. Just as easy as that. You know what? Usually I would highly recommend people at least taking the time to at least look at some of this stuff once in a while. It has become a tradition that dedicated special collection to World of Warships anniversary. And this year they are doing it again. Missing items from anniversary collections can be exchanged for duplicates with an exchange rate of 3 to 1. You can choose which item you want to re receive in exchange for duplicates. So if you get duplicates through the exchange, thing, the ratio is a 3 to 1. You will find in these containers, and these are the anniversary containers, I'm sure they're probably going to sell these. One special signal, Dragon, uh, Wavering, Red Dragon, uh, or burrows. Uh, 
hydro one of the special economic flags eight anniversary tokens for the arsenal and one collection item a special premium container holding a greater number of flies will be available in the premium shop free one pay one five of these flags or ten of the special flags oh sorry about that sniffle 45 anniversary tokens in one collection item so if you really want to maximize or get as much as you can you're probably going to have to buy a couple of these containers I probably will because I want Dasha for every freaking nation if you want to complete the ca uh, collection dedicated to previous anniversary in 2017 the arsenal there will be a new container for the price of 5,000 coals one world of warships anniversary halloween valentine's camouflage five signals and uh the two uh, one of the two years anniversary collection so this is all about the anniversary collection how you're going to get your tokens and all this i'm sure we are all well aware of the two japanese destroyers that came out the kitakaze and hiragumo i really don't want to go over the stuff that is very well known i would like to go over some of the uh little stuff these guys are vicious little gunboats you got to respect them be careful french cruisers have also changed uh Uh, they get the um, battery, um, main battery reload. And here it is uh, for tiers 6 and 8. Main battery reload time is minus 50%. Active for 15 seconds. Cooldown 160 seconds. 120 if you have uh, a premium of that. 3 normal for premium. For tiers 9 and 10, minus 15%, minus 15, minus 50% 50 reload time, active time is the same, the cooldown is where it changes, standard becomes 120, premium becomes 80, still the same, 3 and 4, depending on premium or not. They made some game balancing uh, issues, pretty much the Black Swan loses her uh, AP, uh, she is a British cruiser, uh, which is going to be a little bit weird. She goes from AP to HE. These are the numbers. They've also messed with uh, the Ultimate Frontier. The other thing is rank battles are back, and that starts on the 24th and ends on the 8th. Yeah, I'm probably going to do bare minimum of all of that. But here's all the stuff about ranked. Anybody interested in rank, like I said, just read the stuff. The Arsenal's got new giddy, uh, new new giddies, new goodies. Hmm, I wonder what they could be. Oh, look, Stalingrad. But you also get these two new uh, resources, depending on how you did for ranked and clan battles for the previous seasons. You can get copper and this other stuff. I'm not even gonna try. This stuff here is the stuff I can't even pronounce. It's for your Stalingrad. For this camouflage, what it might add, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. The copper is for the flint and black. Flint and black. Just go to the arsenal. And camouflages. And as you can see, I've already got my Stalingrad. Uh, special one, but here's the ultimate Mustang, ultimate crocodile for Flint and Black. If you want those, it's the same bonuses, it's just a new skin. I have no idea who was messaging me, but let's see. Go back to this. Now, Remember, if you do want to get the Stalingrad and you've done all this stuff, Stalingrad currently is at 28,000 steel. Nobody has 28,000 steel. The way you're going to be able to purchase Stalingrad is you're probably going to have maybe 
21, maybe 22,000, depending on how well you did with ranked and clan battles. But pretty much if you did clan battles only, I believe you'll have like 21,000, maybe 22,000 steel. Uh, I forget. But you don't have enough. But you have that 25% coupon. You've got to use a 25% coupon to get Stalingrad. It drops down to 21,000. Boom. There you go. There's your Stalingrad. I'm probably preaching to the choir because everybody uh, is going to know about it. But did I pass up the captain stuff? No. Ranked, ranked, arsenal. Here's all the bonuses that these things do give you. It pretty much just the same as whatever premium camel that usually, uh, I believe, does come from it. I could be wrong on this part because I don't own black and um, flint. But the special camouflage for the flint is minus 3, plus 4, plus 100% EXP, plus 100% commander, plus 100% free, minus 10% of post-battle uh, servicing cost. The same for the ultimate crocodile, which is for the black. The special war paint camo does the exact same thing that the premium camo you get from the Stalingrad. Minus 3, plus 4, minus 50% of ship repair costs. Plus 20% credits, plus 100% EXP. The other thing is they've introduced uh, new uh, new patches. Great. Update of coupons with the release or your use of coupons for signals, 25 and 50%. Please note the number of coupons is always limited. They cannot be stockpiled. For example, if you have two coupons of 50% for signals, you must uh, spend one pair, uh, must spend one prior to this update. Pretty much what they're saying is you can't sit on your coupons and uh, dump them all at the same time. Pretty much I believe it is every update or something you will get uh, these coupons and what they're saying is if you never use them th the number will always be the same you cannot stockpile them you must use them in order to get a new one they have made some map changes uh, to simplify your research and acquisition of sh uh, for tiers 2 through 6 their cost and credits has been reduced uh, a little bit more achievable. There's one and two, there are no changes. I think a lot of people may have been surprised by this, but uh, I'm not sure. But, you know, like this is the stuff I really want to go over because uh, I didn't see it in their video. But, like, tiers two, like to go from two to three, 10% less the XP, 5% less credits. To go from 3 to 4, it's minus 20% to EXP, minus 10% to credits. From 4 to 5, minus 40% to EXP, and minus 20% uh, to credits. And, you, you know, you're not going to see these. These things are already in the game changed, but you should be aware of them if you are currently grinding up a new tech tree line and wonder why things are a little bit differently if you are moving on. Five and six are reduced by 10% and 5% respectively. They've also changed up the um, their basketball event camouflages. Uh, I believe they changed the names. The German uh, layup is now Zerico. I can't pronounce it. The bonuses, I believe, are exactly the same. Uh, they didn't change, but it's minus 3, plus 4, plus 50% EXP. Uh, the alley -oop changed to Mars. Maybe they did uh, change these. Minus 3, plus 4, plus 125, plus 100. 
uh, commander plus 100 free experience pretty sure if you're sitting on any of these they just changed uh, the name of them Russian uh, Russian nothing but net they changed the full moon let's see minus three plus four plus hundred percent uh, must plus 125 and plus 25 percent a free exp bonus for the world of worships uh, anniversary camouflage has been added. The anniversary camouflage is minus three plus four plus a hundred and plus a hundred free EXP. The following Azraelian camouflages have been added. Hipper, Cleveland, Hood, uh, Nelson, and Enterprise. These are available for purchase in a premium shop. The bonuses are minus three plus four minus ten to post battle cost and plus 50% EXP. And this is what they actually, oh, yeah, whatever. But that's what they look like, respectively. Remember, the night camouflage for Helena has been credited to the winner of the camouflage design. It's been added to the game. Uh, they really haven't released how you're going to get this yet. You just got to pay, uh, pay attention. But the bonuses to add is minus 3, plus 4, minus 10. Uh, and plus 50% EXP. The following ships were added for testing by developers and STs. Uh, all I can say is the following ships were added for testing by developers and super testers. The Alaska, the French destroyer, uh, Lee Terrible, or whatever. There's two new ships out there. Pay attention. Now, this is what I've actually fell in love with, is they changed the interface, and it just seems this game is so much clearer and crisper, is they changed the way you can mess with the uh, the special camouflages. Uh, they've broken it down a little bit uh, more. And just like in a video, you just go over the little gears thing by over your ships. You can select those. Now, just so you know, when you see the green eye like this, it means you can see them when it is blacked out. I will show you what that looks like because I actually have one. <clears throat> when it is like that, it means you are not able, you, you have disabled seeing them. I've done it to the spaceship camos because I have a hard time with the flame coming out. Oh, wait. The other thing they changed, and this is what I've actually fell in love with, uh, because I have horrific eyesight, increased UI scaling. As you can see, you know, I've got mine bumped up. But you can select whatever your resolution is for your uh, computer and or for your monitor. And you know what, if it's everything's too small, it's pretty much going to affect mostly... Uh, the 4K guys, you just can just bump up your re uh, resolution, and that's right here on the graphics, right here. And then you can always revert it back to the original. I believe that's original. Yep. Thank God I just got to hit cancel. But I've actually fallen in love with that. So, interface. Now, just so you know that, uh, you know, with, with the changes to the interface, uh, all previous settings were reset to uh, to the way they were, so you can re optimize it the way uh, you want. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much what this says here. Please note with the release of 0.7.8, all previous settings will be reset. We've made changes in the system make it easier for you to configure the display of additional content to your taste. Pretty much, uh, however you had these ships uh, prior to that, because I've, I did have the space one, uh, not visible. They reset it to all visible. You will have to go back and do that. 
Here's about the UI interface. <clears throat> when that setting is not used, the game will automatically select correct scaling for the first time you launch the updated game client. You can always change the scaling using the increase UI scaling option and the great uh, game stop. This selection has been or uh, also has the find button that will set to recommended UI scaling based on the parameters of your model oh, model monitor. I really didn't look into that. But I really do you know they've made a bunch of other uh, improvements and fixes. Uh, minor improvements to the geometry and textures of the following ships, Dunkirk, Roma, Grosvoy, Arizona, Z-52, Mogami. Visual enhancements to the uh, elements. Uh, customizations used to ships and ports. You know, they made a bunch of other little changes. But i really gone over the key ones that I wanted to go over and showcase you guys. But, of course, more importantly... I don't think I hit on the captains yet. And I promised you that one. I thought that was in there somewhere. Come on. Oh, the other thing that I did forget is they do have these um, camouflages for some ships on sale. You have the Magnus from the Halloween event for Turpets at half off. A new special camouflage for the Turpets, half off. Norwegian, half off. Friendship, I can't pronounce. Uh, half off if you don't have it. The Republic, half off. Half off. The Otago also has... Uh, new camouflages. You can see all of these camouflages are half off for doubloons, and you can simply get that with import. I did purchase this one because I think it just makes the shiny horse look so much better. Then you have the Z32 camouflage for it. Duke of York. The Hood. Uh, I believe this one is I believe that one you could get through uh, doing a game. But the bonuses for all the camouflages are the same. Minus 3, plus 4, minus 10% of cost after battle, and plus 50% to experience. Now, the other thing that I did completely forget is with these captains and all of this glorious stuff, you can get as many captains as you want. Uh, there is no restriction to how many captains you can you can purchase. Could, you can get the same one over and over and over and over again. I do believe that was stated in there somewhere. Oh yeah, right back here at the beginning. Uh, but the other thing is they've added a Dasha Prova modification. Choosing this mod causes all in-game contents, regardless of commander of your ship, being voiced over by Dasha. I haven't looked into this yet because I'm patiently waiting to get the captain. <clears throat> but going into battle with Commander Dasha and choosing the standard modification results in all audio commands, including those from other players being pronounced by Dasha. Selecting the national plus modification and having your ship helmed by Dasha results in all commands transmitted from your ship being voiced by her. Other commands will be voiced according to the nation of the other player's ships. So pretty much if you just want your commands to be voiced by Dasha, you got to hit national plus. Uh, if, you, if you just want to hear Dasha all game long, just hit standard and you will be fine. The thing about these commanders is they will all be 10 point uh, captains when you do get them. I mean, to me, this is still the best thing about this whole event is the Adasha captains. I mean, does, does life get any better, guys? And then, you know, guys, 
I do hope you do uh, like. I, I do hope you like this video. I do hope it helped you out a little bit. Uh, I kind of know I was maybe a little bit off topic, uh, jumping around categories a little bit too much, but I definitely wanted to showcase uh, how to access patch notes through the end game. It really is just that simple. You can read it all. You know, like if you die and you want to play the ship again, just go read the patch notes. Kill 20 minutes. Let's see. Please hit that like and subscribe button and have yourselves one heck of a great day.